What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, here with my yearly back to school tech video to show off some really useful things you students can take advantage of regardless of your schooling or your age. Middle school, high school, college, university, these are all things I think you guys could definitely use and they're all under $100 to save you guys some money. So keeping the budget in mind. If you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it all out. Plus a free trial to sign up for Amazon Prime. So you can take advantage of free one day shipping, two day shipping, same day shipping, all that stuff. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. Remember when I was in school, man, it was like yesterday. Now I've got gray in my beard. First up, this is gonna be for the online schooling student or maybe someone who's often you know, using a microphone because we have the Razer Siren Mini which for the price, hands down, is one of the best sounding microphones I've ever heard. So I'm sure if you need a mic, this will be right up your alley. And the audio quality you're hearing right now is from the Rachel Siren Mini. I'm not lying, it's not my usual mic, you know? I'll tap it for you so you can hear. And it is very, very good and natural sounding for the price. It is a super cardioid pickup pattern, they call it. So it's gonna emphasize when you're talking directly to the front of it. And as you can see, very small and compact, looking like a little, you know, egg shaped capsule type thing. You could take it off the stand and put it on like a mic arm already. It has a thread on the bottom, so you could attach it on whatever sort of mic arm you have at your desktop. Comes in black, white, and pink, so three different colors. And just, you can hear this. Very, very good for the price. It retailed for 50. I just checked. It was just around 40 bucks. I believe it was a little bit under 40. So, very, very good sounding microphone for the price. Really hard to complain, right? And again, I'm not faking this. <laughs> Moving right along, I know everyone loves these multi-purpose lamps and things, but this four-in-one charging station is definitely pretty cool if you're in the Apple ecosystem, that is, in addition to being just a cool bedside lamp or use this on your desk. This light has three different color temperatures and the brightness can all be controlled via these touch sensitive buttons onto the base. So for its main use, obviously use it as a lamp, but can also wirelessly charge your phone, your charge your AirPods or your Apple Watch. Plus on the backside, it has two additional USB slots for charging other devices. So lots of charging going on here. So right in the middle is the wireless Qi charger for your iPhone. You place it right up against it. It'll start charging for you. On the left side is the dock for charging your AirPods or the AirPods Pro. It's universal there, so you can fit them both in. Then on the right side is a dock for charging your Apple Watch. It's magnetic. So all in total, five devices can be charged at once. And it's very sleek and modern looking. I will admit the quality here isn't as good as it looks. It looks like aluminum, but it's actually plastic. But I mean, at least it actually works, you know? Now, depending on whether you are a student in the dorm room or you're still living at home in high school, whatever, I do feel like this would be best suited for like a bedside table or a nightstand. But obviously you can use this however you want. If you want to use it on your desk, if you want to use it in your dorm, you know, feel free. I was just giving my two cents. And it comes in just under $50. Next is this Tribit home speaker, which has a ton of things going on in addition to being, you know, a mood lamp or a night lamp for your bedside table. This has got a lot of features jam packed into it. So when you first see it with that light gray fabric, it does resemble like a Bluetooth speaker, for example. There's a lot more than that because it is a Bluetooth speaker, actually. Uh, you can pair your phone to it, you know, play music, but that's pretty standard. But it also has things like white noise. It could play, you know, just a nice static in the background, bird noises, rain noises, bunch of different ambient noises built in. There's a radio. Obviously right there on the screen is the clock, it's an alarm, this thing's covering all the bases. So on the bottom are two USB ports, one your standard, then USB-C. This is for charging some devices as well. The touch sensitive ring around the screen makes it really easy to navigate and you know, set the alarm, toggle through the different sounds or change the volume stuff you're listening to music. It's made really well, it's built really well. I think execution wise, you know, flawless. I like the addition of the little mood lamp around it too. If you want like a nice warm light at nighttime or if you want the RGB going, there's also a mode where it'll flash and pulse to the music you're playing. This one admittedly is a bit more expensive and I think it's the most expensive thing we're gonna show off today because it comes in just under 90 bucks. However, if you want to save some money but you still want something like this, a nice sort of bedside multi-use clock, alarm, lamp, speaker, this is the Lenovo Essential. I've seen it for like 30 bucks. I got it on eBay for 20. And what I like about the Lenovo Smart Clock Essential is really how sleek and minimal it is. You know, you can put this really anywhere and it's gonna fit in, especially like the dorm room and stuff, you know? So obviously it's a smart clock. You can have it there right in front of you. The numbers and stuff are big and bold, but also it has like a little weather icon to update you on that, which is nice. 
But a big thing this feature is, is Google Assistant. So it's like a smart clock, like I said before, where you can ask it questions and it'll help you out. Uh, it does have Bluetooth built in, like I also said, so you compare it to your phone. Listen to music. There are some buttons up top so you can control it, you know, manually change songs or adjust the volume. But also around the back, it's this really nice and subtle ring light. So it will glow at nighttime, just like a nice little glow. If you guys remember in last year's Back to School Tech video, I actually showed off the Lenovo Smart Clock, uh, not the essential, but like the more uh, advanced one with the actual like touchscreen and stuff. So this, the more budget, user-friendly version if you don't want to have to worry about the screen and all the extra stuff that comes with it. Uh, they're both under 50. Like I said, this one was just around 30, or you can pick it up on eBay for like 20 bucks. Definitely pretty useful, definitely pretty cool. Next up, something you may need to finally activate your PC or laptop is an official Windows 10 Pro activation key. So over on yourcdkey.com, which is a site that I've been using for years to activate all my PCs, you can get a Windows 10 Pro key for just $15. You'll see it's listed for around 20, but to save you guys some money, code VIP random will knock 23% off. At checkout, you see a little promo code box in the bottom, just enter code VIP random, and it'll take you from 20 down to $15 which is obviously much cheaper than buying it directly from Microsoft. But also for the students who may need Office for school reports or projects, there's also Office 2019 Pro. And same thing, instead of 58 bucks, you can use the same VIP random code to bring it down to 45. Once you purchase your code, you can go to your profile and see all your previous orders. There you'll see the view keys and code button where you can find all of them you purchased to redeem on your PC. And also, if you're confused about the whole activation process, they do have a how to activate button up top. So bring you through a whole guide on how to actually do it, plus some troubleshooting tips in case you mess up. So again, code VIP random for 23% off Windows 10 Pro in Office 2019 Pro. Next is a killer gadget for students, and that's the iScan. This lets you scan your notebook or your textbook and now have digital copies of your book or your note on your phone or on your laptop. It makes studying very easy. So design-wise, it's very simple in execution. There's two buttons on the left side, which lets you sort of change the DPI of your scan all the way up to 900 DPI. So you're gonna get a nice crisp image. And also you can either scan in JPEG or as a PDF. You will need a micro USB because that's how it saves all your scans. And it does come with two AA batteries, which is nice. That's how you power this, you know? But like I just showed you, you can get the rechargeable batteries and be good to go. So once you power it on, you hit the scan button, then just slowly roll the eye scanner across the page that you're trying to scan. Again, whether it's textbooks or your handwritten notes, whatever you're scanning will now be saved to the micro SD card. And all the times I've tried it, the scan quality came out great. It might take you a few tries to, you know, figure out the exact speed and the sort of width of the page you're trying to scan. So once you nail that down, you're gonna have phenomenal looking scans. So definitely kind of a life hack, you know, you got a test coming up, make studying super easy, scan your handwritten notes, scan that section out of your textbook, make studying a breeze. Uh, this is just around 50 bucks. Now next up is something I definitely classify as a must have for students, and that's Apple AirTags. They're legit a great pickup. I know how forgetful I am, and you know, I'm sure we all misplace our keys and wallet, just stuff in general time to time, and these AirTags will help fix that immediately. I picked up a few of these and some covers and keychain holders. Really digging this one from Nomad. But you can also grab a bunch of like silicone ones on Amazon for like five bucks. But now, you'll never misplace anything ever again. Now, like I said before, using these to find your keys or a wallet is a given. But it's also great for students maybe in like a dorm room setting or if you can bring your laptop to class. Having this tracker will ensure you never lose your laptop or leave it behind somewhere. Ever lose or forget your backpack? Well, you won't anymore. Maybe your backpack was stolen. Not with this. But to me, what makes this so important and better than some of the other trackers out there is how it works with an iPhone and the Find My app. It uses your current GPS location to personally guide you to the AirTag or whatever's missing. And as you get closer, the phone gives you this haptic feedback as you approach. But say you lose something for good, like it's not in your house. You can set it as lost in the app. Then whenever someone with an iPhone passes the AirTag out in the wild, it'll use their current GPS location to constantly update where it is on a map. So you can see exactly where it is. And that's really the main selling point, you know, because millions of people have iPhones. So whenever they pass your lost item, the location is going to be updated and accurate. But if you're just trying, you know, find your keys or something around the house, you can also just ping it and it'll play a sound audibly so you can track it. But again, with the app and the arrow leading you step by step to where it is, it just makes finding things a breeze. Pricing on these is more than fair. One is 30, or you can buy a four pack for a hundred bucks. All right, next up is something I just showed off in the Cool Tech Under 50 episode for August, and people actually really liked it, and it's very fitting for students and pretty much anybody, and that is this multi-tool, multi-device 
cleaning kit. It's very useful, has six built-in tools for cleaning your phone's charging port, the speakers, your cable even. But you can also use it obviously for like your laptop ports or a tablet. So checking it out, ports one and three for getting all that dust, lint, and just gunk out of your charging ports on the bottom. You probably don't think about it, but considering how often our phones are in our pocket, you know, it's just like your belly button. It's gonna accumulate a lot of lint over time, get jammed up in there, and maybe your phone's had issues charging recently if you don't, you know, use wireless charging. Odds are it's because there's a lot of just, I don't know, pocket lint just jammed up in there. So tools one and three are for cleaning all that out. And the tools four and five are actually for cleaning your cable and the connector pins on that. You know, over time, uh, the pins can get blackened due to corrosion or damage. And it also comes with this cleaning solution. So you could polish that all up, clean the ports, make it nice. Then tool six is a brush for cleaning out some of the speakers, the microphone, uh, the earpiece on your phone. Again, just clear out all that dust. Maybe your speakers aren't as loud as they used to be. Well, again, odds are because there's a lot of dust in there. It's just under $30, and like I said, definitely useful. Throw it in your bag, your backpack, your purse, a drawer, anything like that. Coming up next, even though it's 2021, a lot of us still need to use batteries to charge our tech or to power our tech. And I've been a huge fan of rechargeable batteries, but these from Pale Blue, hands down the best I've used. I've actually showed off a few different ones on this channel before, but these take the cake. So first up, this four pack comes with its own charger, kind of like a bizarre octopus type thing, because they charge via micro USB. And it might sound like a pain to charge each one individually, but that's also gonna be partially an advantage because if one gets low, for example, if you just use one or you have one left, you can just charge one. I've used some in the past that have a dock where you need to charge two. You can't just charge one. It's either got to be two or all four. So here, individually, that's definitely an advantage. And it has a little sort of like glowing ring around it to let you know the current battery status. But more importantly, the reason why I went with the pale blue ones over other ones out there is each battery is over 1500 milliamp hours. So you're getting more juice out of this. But also, each one is 1.5 volts. And your standard, you know, just all the ones on Amazon, most of them are 1.2 volts. And most modern technology does require a battery to be 1.5 volts to power things efficiently. So you can get them for cheaper out there, but odds are they're not gonna be a big enough milliamp hour and it's only gonna be 1.2 volts. So it's not gonna hold a charge and your tech's gonna be dying a lot quicker. I mean, plus you don't have to go out to the store and constantly buy new batteries for your controller. These, you keep recharging them. And you can get them in like a ton of different versions. You know, AAA, AA, 9 volt, D batteries, a bunch of different packs as well. They are 30 bucks, but again, given the specs for a battery, which sounds kind of stupid to say, uh, it's very impressive. And they're the best rechargeable batteries I've used. Now, next up, I don't care who you are, you gotta stay hydrated. And this bottle here, as you can see, is definitely a bit different because it glows to remind you every hour to drink water, stay hydrated. But also, as you can see, this bottom is a built-in Bluetooth speaker. So you have the glowing, you have the reminder, but also if you want, so you know, you're in your dorm room or you get some homework done, pair your phone to this, play some music. Also, by the way, comes off. So this glow speaker 22 ounce water bottle is from brand Ice Water, which is an ironically sort of on point name for this. But yeah, there's not too much more, you know, explaining that needs to be done for this. It's a water bottle. It does have a few different lighting modes. So if you do pair it to your phone to like play music and stuff, some of the like the, the lights will like dance to it kind of. Uh, but I just use it pretty much just as the glowing reminder. Stay hydrated. Again, 22 ounces and it comes in under 20 bucks. All right, so next up, like I said before, there's more than 10 things total because this isn't really tech necessarily, you know, but still gonna recommend it for you guys because it is a killer backpack alternative. Every student needs some sort of bag or a backpack. This is the Adidas Amplifier 2 Sack Pack, which is always very fun to say. And it's pretty much like a drawstring bag, you know? Uh, but instead of having the actual strings, which are very flimsy and definitely break over time, these have the full straps. You can pull it, stays nice and tight. And for the size, you know, it's it fits a lot. Um, I've got, you know, my MacBook Pro in here. I think it's 16 inches. You know, I've got another laptop in here. This 17 inches. What else we got? You know, you got a lot of books. Your students, you need textbooks. Got that. Oh, we got some headphones in here. Tons and tons of room. I think I saw your mom down there. But yeah, for just around 20 bucks, a uh, very good pickup. I love this. I've used it for a while. Comes in a bunch of different colors as well. So you can pick one up, match it to your style. Definitely a pretty good price. So all right guys, that'll wrap it up for this video on our top 10, even though it was more than 10, back to school tech items under $100 to save you guys some money. 
Again, regardless of your age, your schooling, who you are, what you need. Hopefully this stuff helped you out. I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below. So you can check it out if you're interested. And you know what, why not? I'm also gonna drop some previous year's episodes down below as well, because those videos still hold up. Lots of good recommendations in years past. So all down in the description. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.